Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about Gaku Plus, the topic that is about limit. So now I want to show you how to answer. We can apply the form formula in here. So capital eight that is about this one. Now we need to transform this one into this one. So that should be like this. Now I need to put the limit going here. So we need to focus about this one. Now we have the second formula in here. So capital A that is about this one. Capital B that is about this one. And now we need to transform into this one. Next, we divide by n, and that should be like this. So that should be like this. Now, when n approach to positive infinity, number one divide by positive infinity, you got number zero. So for this one, we divide by n on numerator and denominator. So when n approach to positive infinity, this one you got number zero. This one you got number zero. So three minus zero divide by three plus zero. So this one we have number one. F n number one, you got number zero. So that means we have 0 over 0. So we can use L hospital. So that means we need to do first the derivative on numerator and denominator. So for this one, I will put like this. So before we do first derivative of this one, we have the next formula. So we need to transform this one into this one and we have like this. And now we can do first derivative of this one and this one. So we have like this. This one we have negative one over n square. So I will put negative 1 over n square go to numerator and we have negative negative number 2 n square now we can do about common denominator so I will put number 3 and number 3 go outside and that is about number 3 and number 2, we have number 6.
So we can do common denominator. This one we multiply by 3n plus number 2. This one that is about 3n minus number 1. So 3n minus 3n, you got number 0, number 2 minus negative number 1, we have positive number 3. So negative 6n square with number 3, we have negative 18n square. And now we need to expand this one. Next, we divide by n square on numerator, denominator. So we can simplify this one, this one, and this one. When n approach to positive infinity, this one you got number 0, this one you got number 0, and now we have like this. And this one we have negative number 2 and now we need to go back in here so we put negative number 2 go in here because this is the value of this limit and we have e to the power of negative number 2 and we can put 1 over e to the power of 2 This is the end. Thank you for watching.